What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Demon Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. So this is a bit of a spoiler, just so you know, if you don't read the manga. So um, it's basically Tanjiro with fangs and demon eyes. So um, I won't reveal anything about why he's a demon or anything. So don't freak out. It's just, it's just Tanjiro's a demon, that's all. Maybe it's not even a spoiler. Maybe I'm just making it up. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, let's move on because I know people don't like spoilers. So um, move on. I'm on landscape paper. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So center point of my page is about here, right? So we're in three quarter pose, right? So that means we've got a big eye and a small eye and like his head is kind of turned away. Okay, so we will start. Where will we start? We'll start with the big eye, right? So center point of my page is about here. And the eyes, the big eye is kind of along that center line, right? But it's over, his face is kind of over to the right-hand side here. We can see some of his back, right? So center point here, and we'll do his eye. Go. Curve line. Around like so. And in Demon Slayer, we'll make these kind of spiky kind of eyelids. Like this, and then this comes around the front. Spiky sort of eyelid again. Like that. And then we'll darken this up, color it in. Real big, because we're so close up on his face. Okay, so then the bottom eyelid just here, underneath, comes down, and then comes up, like that. You can thicken this up slightly as well, especially in the middle sort of portion, like so. And then eyes, so in Demon Slayer we got these sort of octagular, octagular, I don't think that's a word, is it? Maybe it is. Octagular. Um, octagonal. Anyway, it's got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not even eight. Doesn't make any sense. So the, it's got it's got angles basically. It's not like a perfect circle. It's got all these bumps and stuff on it. Makes it easier to draw. And then his pupil on the inside. It's this long sort of cat-like pupil in there. Colour it in. And then we got like veins coming out of it. So he's basically got the typical sort of demon eyes from Demon Slayer. Right, so his eyebrow Comes up like so, real big, points back that way. And then we're gonna bring this back along the top and down and we're gonna thicken it up a little bit. Now sometimes Tanjiro's eyebrows can be wrinklier than that. They can have like some sort of bumps and you know angles and things, but we'll just keep it sort of simple. And then eyelid line comes across back that way. And the eyelid line comes down the front, sort of in there somewhere. So his other eye, right, just down from this eyebrow, right, is where we're gonna start. So Kind of joins his nose as well, so right. So we'll just we'll just go for it. So it's like curves up and around here. Now this is the small eye, right? So it's like half the size of this eye, and we got like wrinkles and stuff on the 
eyelid line and it gets real skinny down here and this is dark black inside. There's eyelid line here. And so this line like eventually will become his nose, right? So it like comes down this way. And the nose starts to go travel out here. Right? And then his iris, so again, sort of a lots of sort of angles, but it's a skinny eye now because it's turned away from us. Right, so it's got these sort of lumps and bumps on them. And then we still have that long cat eye in there. Roughly like this. But you can give him those demon eyes, veins and things in the eye. Like so. And then our bottom eyelid comes out and up here. And you can thicken this up a little bit. Like so. So then the eyebrow, right? So we've got like this sort of wrinkle section, just like here. Like so. And then his eyebrow will go real wrinkly up to the top of his head, sort of up here. And so it goes like, we'll just add like all these bumps. Real wrinkly on this side for whatever reason. To there. And this comes over and can thicken it up a little bit. So, and then line there. And then we got like some more wrinkles and stuff on his nose. Some of those hatching lines on the nose for Demon Slayer. And then the rest of his nose comes around like so and down. Then maybe a nostril there. Right, uh, he's got like some stress lines and stuff around his eyes. Um, and then his mouth, so just below his nose, we do this sort of smiling line first. So it looks like he's giving a big dorky smile. And then we go down, sorry Tanjiro, down around, back up to here. Then we're gonna give him an evil grin. So you just add these spiking tooths, make him look kind of like a vampire to there. So his chin, just here, right? Round and up, right? Now it's, you'll notice it goes down and up on this side. So it's different both sides now. We can see his jaw on this side, and we can see his face on this side. There's a shadow underneath his chin here. So this side will curve around this eye and up, right? So we'll do this first. So we go around. That's his cheek. See that? In towards the eye, real close to the eye now. And then this goes up, like so. And then around for the top of his head, down to there, okay? So you can check proportions of things now. So you can see we're on the angle, and basically his eyes to his nose, the middle of his eye to his nose, right, to his nostril there, is about the same as nostril to chin, like on this horizontal. So here to here, about the same as here to here, okay? And then nose to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin. Well, roughly, nearly, because his mouth is open. So like say, we'll go bottom lip line, bottom mouth line. So here, 
both the same as here to here. Yeah, so it's this bottom lip line. So this is halfway between his nostril and his chin. Okay, that's roughly your proportion and then you can get sort of this shape along the side. So we'll do his jaw going up this way. Up like so, just like that. You're about mouth level now and you change direction. Up there. So this meets his earlobe, comes up there, and then we have like a big hair spike that comes along the front of his head here, right? So we'll go. Yeah. Like so. And then we'll spike it back. Down. Up to there. There's all shadows now in Tanjiro's hair, and we'll draw those as well. We'll just finish his hairline up here and do add some scars and stuff to his face. Like so, and then these flaming scars. So, curving. Out and around, back in. Another one on this side, so he's more scars sort of in this form. Like that, and he's one down here as well. So, and right, so then veins on his face, coming down his temple. This is like the easiest way to draw veins. You just do this sort of Y shape. Some coming in on his face as well. scratch marks or blood or something coming down here. I'm gonna add another one here. Like so. Right, so then what we can see of the rest of his ear and his hair, right? So spiking. Hair spike comes out here, back in. This will go up. There, and then we can see more ear inside here, so it just comes down like so. And then we have bones and ligament lines on the inside of that, so just coming up here, another one there. That's what we got so far, and then inside here. He also has that earring on, so we'll do that. So it comes out here. And it's just like a rectangle and it's going back this way, so. Like so. If you want, you can use a ruler to keep it straight. Keep the edges straight if you want. Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> don't sneeze, don't sneeze. Oh, that's so painful. I think I'm dying. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, you know when it sneezes there and then it goes away? My God, that's killer. So then the tops of the earring here, and then a mountain sort of thing, and then the sun, and then some rays of sunlight going down. Like so. Um, so then I think we can see some hair coming out from behind this. Kind of goes up. 
over to there. Like so. Anyway, this big hair spike comes across the front, right? So this will go right all the way to here. So this joins to here. So we'll go big angles. And then up to there. And then we'll go like so. Down to there. Back. And in. So this is like the shadow portion of Tanjiro's hair that you kind of have to draw in. You can't kind of leave it out because it's kind of it's what his hair looks like. It's it's got all these shadows and highlights and things. So I know it's annoying, but we got to put him in, or it just won't make sense. <clears throat> So like here as well. Right, so black, I'll put black dots where the black parts are. Right, and then we have some more up along the back and the sides, right? So this comes up this way. And this goes up off my page, goes back in, down, and then it comes in here. So it's an extreme close up on his face, so we couldn't fit in the whole head. A few more room, of course, and you know what Tanjiro's head looks like. You could finish some of these hair spikes off it that way. Another one here. These come down the side of his head then. A couple of spikes just here. Like so. And of course in Demon Slayer sometimes you know edge lines can be a bit thicker. I won't do them all, but if you wanted. Just sometimes it's the way that it's the way the animators chose to do the black lines. You know, they can be thicker, sort of here sometimes. And we'll just add some of these highlights on his hair. Dum, dum, dum. So, right, so that's his face, basically. Right, so then his back. Right, so he's kind of like crawling. He's kind of hunched over, you know. He's in like a weird position. So his back kind of comes back this way. Right. And again, if you want thickening up, lines might be more demon slayer like style like that so then like his shoulder sort of curves over here right so this is like his shoulder and then we got like goes all the way back like back here we got like some bumping curve lines Coming down, and then some bumping lines on the front as well. And these four lines will go back. There could be 
probably some more just up here coming out from behind his shoulder Right, so then like the front of his chest just comes down this way. Comes underneath his arm. And then we have that white demon slayer collar that comes all the way down from his ear down this way to the front. And then we have another line. We can see some of his neck just in here, but then it goes underneath his chin. Maybe a bit of a shadow. And then this has like another line coming down the front, like so. And then a line down the middle, and two lines sort of on the side. And then we got like a button and a pocket. Boop. the other side so right up near this eye it kind of curves out here and then it comes out and we got like a ripped and torn sort of sleeve thing like that and then his arm comes down there and the arm on the other side comes down that way and then we can add some forward lines coming out from his armpit there Like so, as well, thickening up these edges because it's Demon Slayer. It's mostly just like the very like outside contour lines of our character in Demon Slayer, so. It's not like every line. So it kind of depends on how you're feeling, I guess. Um, but I think that's everything, guys. That is how to draw. What is it, how to draw? Demon, Demon Tanjiro. Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.